Good morning, everybody. Morris Jones live on Capitol Hill battling the elements for us this morning. Good morning <laughs> to you, Morris. Hey, good morning, guys. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, big voter turnout yesterday. Luckily, here in Washington, it was dry weather. I don't know if it's rain today or if these are the tears of the Republicans, but <laughs> in any event, as you mentioned... The okay, today, let's face it. A 10. Oh, yeah. Uh, this we evening, definitely. beautiful. And we have a chance for rain coming in Sunday night. It'll last us through Monday, and it'll be clearing out for Tuesday. Rainy days and Mondays always get, get me down. you down, <laughs> start singing, I'm leaving. But okay. it's going to be warm. That's <laughs> what I like. That's our news tonight. Thanks for joining us. Have a great weekend. See you again tomorrow night at 10. Bye-bye. I'm Morris Jones in Washington. The nation's capital hit with a snow and ice storm. Non-essential government workers don't show up for work. If they're non-essential, then why are they here? A good part of federal workers don't have to show up today. Do you think that's that's fair? Because you're working. Uh, well, it, it is dangerous out there on the road, and uh, you know whatever helps the, the welfare and well-being of our employees is the best thing. Do you work for the federal government? I do, sir. So you're an essential worker. I would like to think so. But they're all essential in their own way. But you're working today. I'm working today. All right, good luck to you. Thanks. You're working today. Yeah, well, hey, somebody's and got also, to. happy Valentine's Day. And you too. Okay, Thank and you, you too. Despite the icy weather, there are warm hearts here in Washington. I'm Morris Jones in Las Vegas at the Consumer Electronics Show. Thin is in, from an organic TV to a cell phone that receives TV. Aimed at the younger generation that always has to be plugged in is the Milo from Sony. You can do instant messaging, web browsing, it plays music, and the Milo also acts as a Skype phone. So here's the bottom line. Almost everything that exists today with the screen will have a TV chip in it. Your laptop computer, GPS navigator, and of course, your cell phone. There was a mix up at the lab. You never had cancer. Uh, you saw the woman who lost both of her breasts by accident. What do you tell her? Is the house of sod hypocritical? They're drinking Jack Daniels and watching porno. Can the UN be reformed or has it taken on a life of its own? That's a very good question. Many observers say it's the same insiders still running the company and the same gatekeepers doing the hiring. Well, they're right. They can change the format any way they want. We're going to get the same old, same old. A lot of inbreeding. It sounds like a country club mentality that may never change, Bernard. It is a country club mentality. That's a very good analogy. My answer is bring them on. Do you think your comments when you said bring it on actually incited more violence in Iraq? No. And when Bush and Blair were asked what they would have done differently if they had to do it all over again, President Bush said he would have tempered his tough talk. Many people are saying you're the only person that can talk directly or should talk directly to our enemies, mm -hmm. Iran, North Korea. Why not talk to Ahmadinejad? We've tried bilateral talks with North Korea and it didn't work. President Clinton's defending charges that his administration was asleep at the wheel. I think that if you look back before September 11th, um, this country was not prepared. Hi everyone, it's good to have you with us. I'm Morris Jones in Washington and this is American Dream. This mess was left on his plate and now he's got to deal with it. You know, and for our worldwide audience, this is income tax week. People who uh, owe the government uh, taxes have to pay them this week. Going back to the Reagan administration, you'll recall that there was a time you could buy a new car, you could deduct the interest. You could make other purchases, the interest was deductible from your income taxes. That all changed under Reagan where we had one interest deduction, that was the home mortgage deduction. Did it start with that? That is a great point. Well, let's go from politicians to uh, people on the street. We asked everyday uh, Washingtonians here, how long will you give President Obama to fix the economy? Six months, a year, or what? Here's their reaction. Another six months. I uh, still think there's a lot to do. To fix the economy as long as it takes. See, what impresses me is that these are just your every, everyday average folks outside who uh, we don't know if they're Republicans or Democrats, liberals, conservatives. The most optimistic one that I heard was six months. Were you surprised from what you heard? When you go to the doctor's office, you want to be told what's wrong with you, what the doctor is doing at that moment, and if you're going to get better. So at least the president is talking to the public so much of this could be psychological. If we feel better, maybe we'll get better. That's it for this edition of American Dream. It's good to have you with us. I'm Morris Jones in Washington. Until next time, we'll see you then.